Blessings to you all. <laughs> Love and light. It's a little uh, different for me. Happy Sunday. From Reverend Raven Nightclaw HP to you. very first sermon of many. I do hope that you guys enjoy it as much as I am hoping to enjoy providing it to you. We transmute Changing a negative into a positive is part of life. It's a part of us wanting better things. If you could, if you could go back in time to your younger self with everything that you know now. you tell yourself everything? Or would you just allow yourself to live on? Remembering that the universe always has backs, knowing that the things that we desire are solely based on the things that we accept, you know, things that we, we tolerate, the things that we create, you know, in our lives. There's absolutely no reason for you to to live in a sucky life. There's no reason for you to repeat the same pessimistic negative routines you may already have been experiencing. Our reality is created by the way we think. It's created by the way that we feel It's also created about uh, created by what we send out and what we receive, what we accept to receive. It's also created by what we give, what we give back. question is, are you giving enough? Sometimes I feel like I'm not. Sometimes I have these thoughts, these ideas, and they never come to fruition because I do nothing about them. I think everyone has experienced this in some way, shape, or form. Usually it's either a doubting of the self, a 
doubt, doubting the outcomes, being afraid of what other people might think or feel or react to what it is that you're thinking about doing. The truth is, out of my 42 years being on this earth, I've learned a lot. And that does not mean that I'm superior to anyone or anything. It just means that I'm knowledgeable. I don't know everything. And I know a lot of some things. You see... Spirituality is important. At least it's, it's, it's important to me. And one of the major reasons why it's important to me is because I, deep down inside of myself, can say that not believing in something creates a wall creates a barrier between you and something much higher than yourself. Now, I must say that the universe at times is not, <laughs> it is not going to give you exactly what you want unless you know what you want then you can ask for it I see so much around not only this country but this world I see that COVID has, has broken up families made people guarded I also noticed that a lot of you aren't doing what you think or what you know is your purpose and your sole mission some of you don't even know what that means some of you don't even know what it is This is why I'm talking about transmutation, staying on the path, and enjoying life. If you have those types of individuals that are around you that are constantly complaining that are always looking at the, the negative side of things, well, that's, that's where they stay, or at least until something or someone else is the catalyst for the shift, the change. Uh, it could be you, it could be anyone else, it could be just the natural ebb and flow, you know, ebb and flow of life. You, will, you don't always have to be in a negative cycle. There is a balance, a polarity, a neutralization, um, uh, you know, of the scales. And for every light, there's dark. For every dark, there's light. Okay, I get it. Sometimes it's a little more of one or the other. You know, sometimes it's, uh, you know, sometimes it's a bit more extreme. But to keep yourself mentally aware, keeping yourself available to see every and all possibilities that are 
again, available to you, that are there right in your lap, right in front of you, and being able to do something about it. I mean, think about it. There's been a time in life where you thought that life was over. There's been a time in life where you felt like everything was working just right. And then all of a sudden, you know, th things happen. The very dreams that you have, the positive ones at least, can literally become reality if you want them to. But you have to begin to believe and be able to see yourself in in that light, you know, in that. Uh, that reality, that circumstance, that situation. If you can see yourself in it, I feel that it can and will become manifest as long as you spend a lot more time on it than you would on anything else. Now believe you me, I have thought this through over and over and over again. Nothing happens for no reason. I know it's a double negative, but, and it's grammatically wrong, but it's right. There is an absolute reason for each and every single thing that happens in life. I mean, do you want a good life, or do you not want a good life? Do you want a good relationship, or not a good relationship? Do you want you want to live in a place where there's a lot less crime than in most other places, keeping yourself and your and your family safe? Sounds plausible, doesn't it? But ultimately, you have to see it for yourself. You have to see it for yourself. I can't do it for you. I mean, I, I can share as far as I try. I'm not saying that I can or cannot. But the one thing that you have to realize is that you have the power. You know that you can do whatever it is that, you, that comes to your mind because you are... Some, most of the time, you're supposed to do it. It is part of you. It is uh, those ideas may may very well become your million dollar idea or um, your you know your way of, your flow your way to happiness. I mean, you can't sit by or stand by and just wait and, and expect life to just give you stuff and, and don't get me wrong you know you send out good intention and you know it gets mirrored back it gets sent to you blah 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 but but ultimately ultimately life will never become what it absolutely has to be for you Unless you take a stand for yourself, you know what you're worth. I was just discussing that with somebody this morning, or afternoon. The truth is that we don't necessarily know, at times, what's coming. Okay, so you're clairvoyant, or whatever. Maybe, you know, again, maybe you can read, you know, read the future. I'm still, I got bit. 
by what I have no idea. The show must go on. You see, when we take time out for ourselves, we separate ourselves for a bleak moment. A bleak moment in time could be 15 minutes, could be an hour, could be a few hours, could be a whole day. Again, that's choice. But the question is, what are you going to choose? Do you know? I'm not going to tell you. I would say, if I was to say anything to you, I would suggest to do whatever your heart, inside, whatever it is that's inside of your heart. Some people say, well, that's not going to make you any money. Or, oh, you've tried this before and, and it, just, it never worked for you. Well, that may be the case. But what I'm noticing... is that life doesn't have to stay and it won't it won't stay in any negativity or positive or positivity uh, for a long period or, or long duration without you actively playing a part playing a part in all this and ultimately I mean, changing a negative to a positive is not that easy sometimes. It's really not. But again, the universe has got your back. So why not go for it? So what? You're afraid. Okay. Okay, so what, what, did, the, what did the movie, well, who, what did uh, Paul Atreides say um, about fear? Fear is... Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. I think he says something as if I will accept my fear and allow it to pass through me. I mean, there's a bunch of different ways that I could I could change those words to mean to to mean something very similar, but uh, but also uh, you know change the the verbality you know almost altogether. But it's the vibration. It's the it's what you're doing daily. Like what? I mean, literally, may, you know, provide yourself a daily tally. You know, at the end of the day, look at what you've done. Look at what you've completed. Uh, look at what you've started. And are in progress of completing. Heck, you know how many times I, I started something and got bored of it and thought that I couldn't finish it? But I did. See, the focus in staying on the path mentally is like the very first hermetic law. You know, the, uh, the, the principle of mentalism. I mean, you have to be mentally aware. You have to be open and, and knowing and seeing, you know, everything or every possibility, that, you know, that's going on around you. Every, you know, potential, you know, potential possibility. Because I'll say this, that, I mean, it, you're the only one stopping yourself. Again, the universe has got your back, so why not, right? Why not just do it? Everything's going to work out in some way, you know, it's all going to work out. you got to keep that in your head. It's all going to work out. In some very odd, synchronous way, 
whatever is negative is going to turn into a positive. Whatever positive may be balanced out by, ne you know, negative energy. But, you know, either way, either way you look at it, you still have to be aware. I mean, you can't just keep, like, just floating in life. You know, what do they say? Flying the by and by and, you know, expect things to change. I mean, you, you have to make choices. You have to... You have to decide what's right for you. You have to decide what's, you know, what's what's good for you, what's in your heart, what's in your soul. And, and, and go and do whatever that is. Could be doing nothing, which would be weird, but okay. I mean, the body was meant to move, so, you know, move! Dang it. <laughs> uh Try to make you jump right there after all that, you know, all that calmness. I mean, once you, you know, once you get into a flow like this, you know, who who knows where I, where I'm gonna go. But, but look look at it this way. Life is about a bunch of choices. Okay, you wake up. What are you gonna do? What are you going to do? Okay, let's. Let's say, uh, you, you know, you got work, right? So you, you got work that morning, okay? You decide to get up, you decide to wake up, you decide to shower up, and you decide to get get up and get out and, and get to that job, right? And if you don't, well, there's going to be consequences. There's going to be consequences, okay? Whether they're positive or negative. Maybe the positive side is you get to spend a little bit of me time, okay, with yourself. Maybe you get to do something like a hobby or, you know, you get to watch a, watch TV all day or, you know, sleep in, you know, for four more hours, you know, or, or half a day or whatever. But you got to do what you love. I mean, you got to do what you enjoy. You have to begin to enjoy life. That's, you know, that's one of the, 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 the topics here. How do you enjoy life? Well, I mean, only you can tell me, only you can say that. I mean, literally, how are you going to enjoy life? What do you enjoy in life? I enjoy doing this. I never thought it possible. But I'm doing it. I love my artwork. I'm learning sometimes daily. about what to do, how to do it, what does it mean, you know, I mean, I mean, artwork means a lot to me, I'm looking at my artwork right there, sorry, I'm not ignoring anyone, it's just I'm looking at it and seeing how beautiful it is, within my own perspective, within my own eyes, seeing The, these things like unfold, you know, right before me, before my very eyes, with my own hand, okay? And trust me when I tell you, it ain't all about me. I'm just sharing with you how, how I'm just sharing with you how it makes me feel. Because that's important. To show you how it makes me feel. talking with you guys about this, you know, about this three, you know, third density, and fourth dimension, and fifth dimension, and sixth dimension, and seventh dimension, and all the way up to 13, or whatever, a trillion, trillion, I, you know, you know, you never really know how many realities are, tr are honestly there, but, I mean, it's infinite, you know, in a sense, but, um, you know, w when we really look at life, we... I mean, wow, I, if we think, if we look back, and, and we truly see what we've done, what we've created, positive and negative, and really, you know, tapped into our own personal power, Apparently, from what I've been told, I mean, everything just flows to us. Everything just flows. It's 
especially money. Especially money. Um, it says, uh, energy goes, or, you know, well, I guess this is, uh, I forget where I heard this, but, uh, you know, energy goes where positivity, is, is that, yeah, I, uh, energy and vibration flow to where positivity goes, something like that, um, you know, your vibe, you know, the big one for me was your vibe, you know, attracts your tribe, and that's, I never really knew what the hell that meant, and I was like, whoa, okay, so being positive, and, you know, being a, a, you know, a contribution to, to the, to humanity, to the world, uh, to the, uh, yeah, to the cosmos, in a sense, it, um, it just makes life feel better. Knowing that you're doing something, you know, to contribute. To know that you're doing something. Excuse me. Oh. Uh, to, to know that you're doing something uh, that is going to make a positive impact on our race. That's a great idea, isn't it? I mean, think about it. What, what could you do? What level are you supposed to be on? Where do you have to, again, transmute? Where do you have to transmute? Where do you have to shift to? What is it that's going to make life better for you? Now, I, I tell you, it, statistics show that there's 80, about 78% of people that work a job hate it. I don't like using that word either. I don't. All right, I do not use, like using that word. However, the major reason why most people do it is because of the money. Because if you got the money, you got the comfort. Okay, and if you got the comfort, you start, you know, you start flowing. All right. If you, if you, if you're able to be expressive and open and fluid and you know, be able to do pretty much whatever you want, and, and money does help with that, you know, for, for some extent, but it doesn't have to be a means to an end. It doesn't have to be a means to an end. Because just, I mean, money goes as quickly as it comes. I mean, that's, you know, that that's how it is. I mean, once you get it, you use it. I mean, either you use it for the, the right things, bills, food, you know, uh, clothing, you know, whatever, additional utility, cell phone, blah, 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 savings, car, whatever. But if you use it frivolously, then it's going to go as fast as it showed up. Not saying to hoard it, but allow it to flow outwards as quickly or as flowy or as effortless as it came in. I like that. Just like the four R's. Reflect, release, recreate, and reinvent. Now some of these, you know, when, you, when the reflection is, it is one of, one of the easiest things because most of the time you're observing. Um, releasing could be a difficult one because letting go is is challenging for some people uh the recreation part is is quite literally well, the last two the you know the recreate and reinvent meaning reinvent yourself that could very well come as a challenge or it could be a, a very easy uh sort of transition that one, again this t is talking about your flow knowing your flow and I just learned about this a couple of months ago, that your, your flow is how you naturally do things. And you knowing the parts of you that make up who you are. Okay? And we can even talk about the archetypes, but again, you can look it up. Google's a great, you know, a great search tool, and 
You know, look up the whatever the seven, eight archetypes or whatever, twelve. I, I don't know how many there are. Again, I'm just recently, you know, getting into this. But for an example, you know, me when I first wake up and I share and I gotta share this with everybody because it's important. That that um That once, right when I wake up, my brain goes into like this, and I know people are going to say, oh, that's like a robot or whatever, but my brain goes into like this computer sort of simulation, uh, this system, you know, if you, if, for a lack of a better term, that it's, it's pure and, and utter focus. Hey, Trixie, you want to go? Um, like when I wake up, what's the first thing I do? Boom! I get into focus. That's my first thing is I focus. I got to focus. Focus on what? Okay, focus on, all right, so as soon as I wake up, sometimes, most of the time, I do like a three, like my three and 30. Okay, my three and 30 is quite simply picking three things and choosing to spend 10 minutes on each thing, uh, you know, holding gratitude as well as projecting appreciation, okay, for each one of those three things. Now, each one of those three things could change on a daily basis, but again, that's entirely up to you. If, you know, if you want to spend some time, you know, you want to spend some time on, you know, in, on each one for a, a month or, you know, a week or couple of days then you know so be it whatever it is that you you know you you really appreciate and you're thankful for is uh what you well, is, is specifically what you're spending time on or spending energy with and you you got you got to pay attention man i mean that's look there's been times where i've been redirected okay redirection Meaning, I was I'm having a great day, then all of a sudden, some like something just makes me stub my toe in the corner of the dresser. Kind of sucks, gets you a little angry. Okay, ow. Okay, I, I know, like right in the center of your toe. Some people can break a toe that way too. Okay, or fracture or fracture a bone, but depending on how hard you hit it. But, but the thing is, see, all that stuff makes sense, what I just said right before I'm about to say what I'm about to say. So, again, when we, when we begin to reach into ourselves, re, you know, reach into ourselves and bring, oh, come on, oh, that was a weird cry. What, you both want to come in here? No, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, you guys see it already. <laughs> right. What, you want to stay in here or what? Yeah, you good? But, I know, if I'm doing this and my, my cats are going all over the place. But, see, here's, here's what else I know. Okay, I also know that... Look, life does not have to be, and I and I'm, I'm quoting this from a movie, okay, uh, which which is again, it, I will not say names because you know if I say that then I might get in trouble, which I hope not. Uh, but I, I love this quote, and it says, <laughs> "Life doesn't have to be a." a, a, a let me see what, what how was it said life doesn't have to be a system of uh, of unfortunate events and i absolutely agree with that I, I really really do and it doesn't matter what you know uh, what kind of negative things are happening in your life you you can literally see you have a choice when those things happen you have a choice of either sitting and swimming in the, you know in, in the toxic pond or, or the toxic pool, or get the hell out of the toxic pool, you know, dry yourself off, or wash yourself off, rinse yourself off, clear and cleanse, you know, purify, stuff like that, and then, and then move on, you know, uh, going along, staying on the path, okay, staying on the path, and 
just keeping that focus, you know, keeping that focus on the path. Now, I'm not saying that being spiritual is easy. I mean, I, if, man, there, I will tell you, there's been times where I, some of the circumstances that randomly happen in my life, which, I mean, right now with COVID isn't a whole lot. I don't think that, I think it's the same way with a lot of people, but sometimes these circumstances and these situations, they, I honestly think most of the time they're there to test you. I also think that uh, they're also uh, there for your, uh, for your betterment in some way, shape, or form. I mean, is the universe throwing a monkey wrench in your life? Maybe, but I doubt it. Yeah, you just heard me say that. Maybe, but I doubt it. Most of the time, it's actually you uh, creating walls, blockages, barriers, boundaries, opinions, ideology. reactive thought processes. Life doesn't always have to be shitty. And I'm not going to lie about that. Now, I'm 42 years old. I, I get I get to talk uh, as an adult. So, I'm going to do just that today for you and with you. What do you want? Don't answer. It's rhetorical. Okay, but what do you want? You got to tell yourself that. Uh, you have to be able to tell yourself and be honest with yourself about what it is that you truly want in your life to make life what it needs to be. Now I can't. I can't do it for you. I'm not even going to try to do it for you. Okay, I've attempted to hold people's hand along the way. And, you know, sometimes sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. But the truth behind all this is that your higher power may be the only, or your higher self, I should say, could be that thing that's a changing factor a changing factor of whether or not you're living your life in joy and happiness or whether you're just going to live in that slow sludgy stagnity or toxic relationships or you know being around those toxic people because you love them and you want to see them heal and I'm not telling I'm not telling you to be a total introvert you know or be or be a hermit but what I am telling you is you have you have the choice I mean the the, the choice is your power the free will the freedom of choice the fact that you could decide to do something on your own, by yourself, without influence, and you could say, okay, well, this is good or this is bad for me. I don't see an issue with that. But what are you going to change? What are you going to change? If, if there's anything that needs to be changed. Maybe it's maybe you're just allowing you know external influences to, to affect you. Maybe you're allowing people to, to manipulate you and, and, and sway you one way or another. Now, if they're swaying you in a positive way, sure as fire, stick around those people. But if they're, they're, they're pessimists and they're bringing you down and they're, they're calling you names and they're down-mouthing you and, they're, you know, and they're, they're dragging their feet so they want you to drag yours too, you just got to make a choice. sit there and drag ass or are you you're gonna do something about it I mean and the truth the truth of the matter is that a lot of people talk themselves out of stuff 
I'm not going to lie about it, guys. I'm really not. I mean, look at your life and say, well, what needs to change? And, and just change it. A lot of it has to do with acceptance, safety, partnership, communication, consciousness, perception, <laughs> interpretation, okay? I mean, I mean, really, really think about this. Why is it that certain people don't succeed? Certain people don't succeed because they don't take those opportunities, those positive, those growth opportunities when they show up because they're second guessing themselves all the time. Think about this. I know, and this says a spiritual sermon. Yes, it does. And it says it. Yes, indeed it does. And that's exactly what it is. I love talking about this, and I guess this is going to be the platform that I'm going to use. Not necessarily Facebook Live, of course. But take into consideration everything that you've been through. Also take into consideration... the life that you really want to have. Are you living it? Or are you hoping that it's just going to be created someday? Well, maybe certain people have passed away in your life and, you know, they were really close to you and, you know, you're, you're, you're missing them and you're sad that they're gone and, all right, well, live in their light. Live in their light. All right, so you got their, you know, they got you got their D day, their you know their death day. Okay, it's like like a birthday, but you're, you know, ce celebrating them. You're giving them homage. You're honoring them. Oh, okay, well that's totally fine. Nothing wrong with that. But the fact is, uh, you don't have to sit in misery for it. I mean, one day it's going to happen to you too. And what, what do you, well, I mean, uh, I actually was listening to a um, a motivational video on YouTube and. Um, it's, it's interesting that there's one phrase that kind of ring, you know, rings true to me. And it says, on your tombstone, it says your year of, of, of when you were born. And it also says the year that you died. And what's important is the dash in between. What's important is what you're, what you're doing in life while you're here, while you're living. And if you're filling yourself with a toxic job, going home, smoking a blunt, or drink, you know, drinking yourself until you go to sleep, well then there's, there's a necessity for change at that point. I mean, you've got to really reevaluate, like what's, what's going on? Are you happy with this? No. Okay, are you, can you fix it? Uh, can, maybe with some assistance and some support and, you know, a, a good crew of people you, behind you? I do believe that. Um, or maybe, again, with the work. Work, 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 work. Working, 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 working. You know, all the time. And I'm not saying, hey, if that's what you enjoy and that's what you love, then so be it. But if you do not enjoy it, if it does not bring you happiness then there, are, there you have to start doing something that is going to bring that to your life. Absolutely. Trust me when I tell you. There are so many times that I've second-guessed doing the sermon. I don't even know how many people are here. I don't even know how many, how many are watching. It doesn't matter to me. What matters is the message. What matters is the message and you know being a, a you know being an or a legally ordained minister interfaith minister universal whatever you know universal uh, I don't know if you can call me father but I, 
I'd be a little weird like, it'd be like somebody calling me daddy. Except for my daughter, of course. Um... That gives you power, and I'm and I'm not saying that the, the titles always do that. I mean, degrees they give you a certain you know it just acknowledges that you have you know a certain uh, a certain uh, amount of um, skill set and knowledge on said subject. And you spent a long time and you took tests and you you know you graduated from tests and yada yada yada. But what what I love about you know some of the shirts that I've gotten is because it allows me to do certain things that I enjoy. It allows me to talk about certain things without worry, without thinking that I'm wrong, without thinking that I am. You know, that I've, well, to show me that I can do what I love and not have a care in the world about what other people think about what I'm doing. I had extra time today, so I am, I am here with you. Trust and believe that when you start flowing... I, I'll say this, and this is going to sound like a poem, or, or a short excerpt, like one of those quotes. You know, when when you start flowing, I, I would say, when, yeah, maybe. When you start flowing, you start going. You know, when, when you flow, you move. I mean, you're literally reaching down and you're embracing uh, the positive. You're embracing the things that, I mean, even some of the ideas that you've had back of your, you know, back of your mind for, you know, for years and maybe even decades and, and such. And you're finally doing it again making yourself happy again. What, what is your reality going to be? I sure as heck know what mine's going to be. With the next 50 years, well, I don't really know what it's going to you know, bring, but it's going to bring positive things. And if, and if you can see yourself, you know, with those, you know, with those positive things and the positive things can be created. I mean, what do you truly want? I mean, do you want to do you want to stay on the path that you're on right now, or do you want to change it? Again, that's entirely up to you. And what I suggest is, if your life, if you feel like you're feeling in struggle, if you feel like you're, you know, you're feeling stuck, as difficult as it may be for you to set time aside, you know, for you to set time aside for yourself. And, and uh, embrace the ideology that, again, that your reality is based on, uh, is based on your choices. I mean, it's not, not just, you know, not just based on your choices, but it, it's also based on what it is that you're willing to accept. I mean, is this, your, is that the reality you want? No. Uh, or yes. And if it's not, then do something, then again, do, you know, do, do something about it. And what you really got to do, it, again, is, is take that time out for yourself. Okay. Look at what you're doing and saying, okay, do I really want to do this? And then if it's a yes, then keep, keep moving. Um, if it's a no, then it's time to again re reevaluate, um, reevaluate everything: your job, your occupation, your career, uh, your relationships, your thoughts. Okay, and especially your emotions and your reactions. 
and start little changes. Little changes will work wonders in your life. What I'll also say is that if life is not what you think it should be, then ask yourself, what are you, what are you holding yourself back from? What is it that you want to obtain or attain? What is it that you, you know, wish to, um, wish to acquire, you know, in life? Maybe a certain amount of money or a certain amount of uh, accolades or titles or degrees, you know, or um, it could be you know, certain people are just never fulfilled. But you have to see it, what is it in life that makes you feel fulfilled. And ask yourself, are you doing what you're supposed to in order to get there? And if you're not, then, I mean, maybe you're not transmute, you know, transmutating the right negative energy into positive energy. Maybe you're, you know, maybe you need to do affirmations more. Maybe you have to, you know, uh, maybe you have to speak uh, mantras and mudras. Maybe you got to meditate. Maybe you got to detox bathe. You know, maybe you got to see a shrink. Who knows? You know, maybe you got to change your career, or uh, you know, start working on a hobby. Maybe you got a passion of yours that you haven't even done yet because you're just, you're just afraid to. Well, good. Just just start doing it. Take it from me. And if you truthfully know that you don't have enough time, or you think that you don't have enough time, then make the time. Make the time to live your passion. Stop stop waiting. Stop, you know. Laziness is addictive. Just putting that out there, okay? Laziness is addictive because... At times we think that we're all move, go, 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 move, 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 move. Well, if that's the case, then slow the hell down. Some people are like, well, I don't know how to do that, or, or I have no time to do that. Well, first of all, you do have time to do that. Um, second of all, you do know how to do that because that's what happens when you sleep too. And what you have to see is what is your balance. What's your flow? If your flow is not bringing you to where you want to be, change your flow. If your thoughts are not bringing you to where you want to be, or making you into this kind of, you know, the, the positive person, the, you know, the motivated person, the, ins, you know, inspired person, then change your thoughts. Okay. Um, if the ideologies that you learned from your predecessors, your, you know, your parents, your siblings, your grandparents and all that don't really resonate with you anymore, then change your ideologies. Change your beliefs. At one point, I, I never believed in the idea of God or a God. I believe now in a higher power. Can we call it God? I don't know. Can you? I mean, probably. Can we say that the higher power is actually our higher selves? We can say that too. Yeah, that's a controversy. We don't really know. I mean, I don't think anybody does, you know, unless they're being told, you know, who or what, you know, what is speaking. In order to bring yourself to a life of something better. You have to acknowledge and admit what's wrong. If you can work through it, work through it. If if you feel like you can't, then there's a serious decision that's going to have to be made.
the truth is, you have the power. I have the power. Everyone has the power. What are you going to do with that power? What are you going to do with that power? Are you going to drown in it? Or, or are you going to allow that power to amplify, magnify, become one with it? I think the latter sounds pretty good, don't it? I think so. But it's not about me. It's about you. So in conclusion to the sermon, I want to say thank you for everyone who has supported me, everyone who has inspired me, motivated me, believed in me, even when I didn't believe in myself. I'm truly grateful for each and every single one of you. Because at one point, I never thought I even had the power to sit in front of the camera and speak without bumbling my words and just falling, <laughs> constantly falling and, and bumping my head on each stair going down. It just, I really enjoy doing this. And thank you for this experience. I know that I opened it up to myself, but you also assisted in me opening it up to yourself. And I thank you for that. So until next time, be humble, be blessed. Live in the beautiful, amazing vibration of love. And help this world take care of one another. Serious. Be, be the, you know, be the challenge, be the change, be, you know, be that positive, you know, that positive kind of uh, force that helps project, you know, pr uh, you know, project us into, into a different realm, a different millennia altogether love and light guys I'll see you soon namaste and be blessed <laughs>